Welcome to Draw Cartoons. If you watch all of today's video, you'll catch some of my better tips that the darned video skippers are going to miss out on. So don't be a skipper. Hit that like button and subscribe button as doing both really helps the channel and hit the bell so you never miss a tutorial. Let's get started. So to draw this guy, we're going to start with a circle as we always do for the head. Uh, well, not, not necessarily always, but this is definitely a circular head. And then once you've drawn that, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, by the way. Just try and get it as precise as you as you can with your free hand. And then we're going to draw another circle around it that's way bigger. And as you can see, there's more room on this circle, on this side, than there is this side. I guess it's like looking at a fried egg. The yolk is never quite in the middle. It's a little offset. So try and get much more space here than there is down here. So we'll just start with the face and then we'll work down. So I think a good way to do this is to draw a kind of line of symmetry right down the, uh, well not quite the middle of the head, but offset to the side a little bit. And once that is in place, we know pretty much where to start the beak. We want to start the beak in the middle of this line that we just drew. Try and picture where the middle of it is. And then we can start drawing a beak out over that circular guideline we initially drew to show the size of the head and back up into a little smile like that. You just end it with a little kind of cartoony crease for the cheek. Then for the bottom part of the beak, it just kind of dips in there, goes out, and then back into where those lines meet. And then we'll just draw around it again to give a little bit of thickness to that beak. Bring it a little bit wider as you approach this area here and then bring it up back to that midpoint. I'm gonna add a little curve over the beak as well because it changes color. Now for the eyes, so there's a, a circle or rather an oval on this side, uh, side rather, and then there's another kind of oval on this side. And note the space difference. There's a lot of space here compared to here. And that's because of the angle that we're looking at the character at. It's just a foreshortening thing. But this pupil needs to appear way closer to the middle of the head than this one, purely because of how we're looking at the character. So now we'll draw a line like this, a curve, because it shows what direction the character is looking at in the original artwork. And it's a pretty cool cartoon thing. Might want to remember that one for future. And then a couple of tufts of hair right on top of the head. And we'll add in that kind of pattern on the face, just a big curve going around the head. And so the head's done. The globe that the head is sitting inside is in place. So now we can work on drawing the rest of the body. So we'll angle a couple of lines down from the bottom of the head. And then either side of that, we'll draw a small semicircle. And note how that sits right on the bottom of the uh, the globe. Okay, so he's wearing kind of like a spacesuit. I don't really know why. <laughs> I didn't really look into know why. But um, I, I certainly like it, so I thought, well... Let's, let's draw this in place. We've got a kind of like a collar looking thing, but it's really just for the um, the helmet of the spacesuit to sit in place. So try and get it quite narrow at the back here. If I actually shade this in, we'll see that that's kind of like a dark spot where the body is hidden inside. And that at the back is quite narrow, and that at the front is much thicker, again because of the angle uh, that we're looking at the character from. So now we'll draw a little top, a little shirt with a bit of a wave to it like that, so we've just got this kind of hook shape on this side, near where the belly is, and it swoops up and over to the back, like that. And now we can just kind of draw a circle underneath this, just kind of fitting inside. And now for the wings. So, a couple of curves, one going up like this, underneath that helmet, that huge globe-like helmet, and then we can just draw three curves on this side, one, two, and three, and then four curves on this side. One, two, three, and one last one that we don't really see on the other side. Let's add in a bit of pattern for those feathers. And there we go. Because it does change color along the wing. And now there's uh, some tail feathers here, so we'll just add a couple of spikes here at the back. And now for the legs. So I think the easiest way to draw the legs is to draw a single line to act as the middle of the leg to help us decide on the uh, direction and length of the legs and then build around it. So a line going down like this and a line going down like this. Notice the really, really slight curve going on here. 
Now either side of that, you want to draw more lines that are exactly the same, but they're just basically either side. But the heel is going to be a little bit longer because this part here is interrupted by the actual front of the foot. So that line ends up longer than that one. Now for this one you just want to draw another line here to show the sole of the foot or the flipper, whatever you want to call it. Talon, bird foot, and a couple of spikes to show some toes. Maybe some lines across. Okay, and then three toes on this side. And again some curves, make it look more like an actual bird's leg. And there we go, that was nice and easy, pretty, pretty quick one. Um, do feel free to go back and double check any parts that you feel like you may have missed or got wrong. Um, I'm not expecting everyone to get this right on the first try, which I've raised some of these guidelines. So you can actually go over this with your pen or whatever you use to ink your drawing at this point, because uh, yeah, we don't really have a lot in the way of guidelines to get rid of this time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that myself, so I'll catch you guys in a minute. Now that is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, leave a comment letting me know what you'd like me to draw next time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials just like this one. Until next time.